Last tiebreaker. Thank you, Riv. And, I mean, that game did not disappoint. That, that was, was exciting. Unless you're a teammate fan. Well, <laughs> it was the closest yes. game of the day. That was, yeah. yeah. It was, in, it was in, fun. insanely back and forth. You know, two for one trades, three for twos. You know, so fight after fight after fight. Fights. It was, we're it like, was we're looking, it was okay, awesome. where can we find a team fight that can illustrate the closest of this game? And, like, there were so many cool things about this. Uh, Phoenix getting really fed. He had two fights where there are triple kills. He shot Maple Street down. But at the same time, Piglet kept dying in fights because Slushy was providing a lot of pressure along with Cali Trolls from the top lane. But none of the fights were game deciding. It was always one fight trading just barely in one favor or just in the other. Two for three. Until for the final fight of the game, yeah. which was clearly game deciding. So that's our replay. Yeah. We're going to pull that one up on your screen uh, 45 minutes in. Around the Baron Pit, Zyrene, please. Uh, <laughs> so teammate had been having a bunch of fights where they are engaging and Everybody was there to back them up. Then they had a couple near the end where they weren't all coming in at the same time. And this is another example of that. They're doing the Baron. The Scrying Orb comes down. Cali Trolls is actually kind of far away from this fight. But he's going to get yeah. there as fast as he possibly can. And this was so chaotic. We can roll this right now only because the Baron steal was kind of unexpected. Team Liquid kind of wanted to peel off, but they left the Baron at such a low health bar. The teammate said, all right, we can get the Baron. But that kind of ended up spelling their doom because instead of Porpoise popping up and knocking up four or five people to combo with the Hecker Malt, he takes the Baron and is out of the fight, which means the solo tank Cali Trolls is able to be focused down. I Will Dominate is not able to be focused down because Maple Street was set so far back in this game. And at that point, it's just a speedy Lulu Lucian team crushing teammate. It's just one of those things where Cali Trolls is going too hard again, dives the back line, and he doesn't have the assistance of his team. I mean, talked about it a Crazy. long time ago where it was Cali Trolls. When he goes in, if you don't follow him, you're wrong <laughs> <laughs> because he's going to go in. Yep. And the, and the, But this was one of the fears uh, going into this game when looking at the two compositions, seeing the Lucian with the support of the Lulu and the Janna. Yeah. When it goes late enough, the threat of the Lucian on your front line is a lot greater than the Corky yeah. is to the Sejuani. And we saw it manifest there 45 minutes in. Sedge is still alive when Hecarim goes down. Yeah, just a huge tank line for them, but also the amount of damage that Corky was doing was much lower. He got a QSS third item. He was a whole item behind 60 CS at one point, multiple kills under Piglet. So Piglet was getting a lot of the kills on that. And that's how he got that extra item spike over him, the ability to chunk out Cali Trolls, and then just all the peelbacks support. Too. Yeah. So essentially now we have Team Liquid snagging that sixth place spot, making it into playoffs. But I have to say, those weren't the most ecstatic faces I've ever seen on, on people who just qualified last game of the season, qualify or tiebreak, not even last game of the season, had to get to the tiebreak, win that. I've been watching Owl Dominate since he came into the LCS, and he is pretty much always pumped after wins, especially big wins. And this was the biggest win of Team Liquid season. But I think, you know, it's the difference between excitement and relief. I think that team was more scared of failure, of not making the playoffs. And now they're just like, oh, thank God we made it into the playoffs. And that, that's what it felt like. It's almost because they've undershot their own expectations so heavily. Mm -hmm. Week one, when they had Keith as a substitute, 2 0 against some decent competition. And we're thinking, and we're only going to go up from here. We're getting a world champion as AD carry. And like the whole season from that emotional high has been downhill. Yeah. So we'll see how they can perform in the playoffs. But mentally, they still seem a little bit damaged. Yeah, I think from here, the key for them is going to be turning themselves around mentally. And, and as you said, they've, they've, it's been downhill. Now it's time to you know, back up. revert that. Let's They're finding back identity, up. This is, Yeah, this is the right start to move in that direction. Now, uh, just lastly, want to touch on Team 8 as they did not qualify with this. They are in seventh. So unfortunately, that means no playoffs, but they are securely into the summer split. And for a team you know, that's coming new into, uh, into the LCS, I think they performed very well. They yes. showed that they can compete with everyone. You know, they've got wins against top teams. They've beat, they, were, they beat TSM when no one else had, right? So you look at that, I think there's a lot of positives for them to take away from this split. And their trick for them is to not let it get them down and to continue to use this off time to improve as a team. A lot of it will do with expectations. Yeah. I think coming into the split, they didn't necessarily expect to be a playoff team. And so much happened today. If things happened differently for Team 8, they could have been fourth. Yeah. That's how swinging this day was for them. So it's, it's obviously going to be very, very disappointing for Team 8, but they need to recover, right? They are still a good team. They know they have the potential. They weren't thinking of winning the split anyway. If they want to go to Worlds, they're going to win next split. 
right? Like yeah. that, that would be their mindset. And I, I think they can take a lot of positives away from the split. Yeah, I think I was kind of concerned for them coming from Cal Challenger to here was that they weren't going to be able to, like Maple Street wasn't going to be able to perform and hold up to other AD carries. Cali Trolls was just going to fall onto farming top laners and be pushed off of his champion pool because it was the meta. Yeah. And it did kind of happen a little bit. But then when they broke out of that, we saw some really good things from Team 8, and they started to define a style for them. So as they refine that over time, there's a lot of good things in that team. Slushy, Porpoise Pop stepping up mid-season was just wonderful to see from that team. So they've, they've grown exponentially, and a lot of people put them near the bottom. And the fact that they're kind of near the bottom, but also making plights towards the middle, like making strives towards it, it was really impressive to see. So props to Team 8 for this yep. season. Want to see them in, uh, continue to evolve and push their limits. Let's update the standings to see how that game changes things. Team Liquid have claimed the final spot in the spring playoffs and will face the loser of our next tiebreaker in the quarterfinals. That means Team 8 slide down into seventh place and are done until the summer split begins. Still to be decided is whether Cloud9 or Counter Logic Gaming will take the second seed. Now, there was a coin toss just moments ago between CLG and Cloud9. As you can see here, Cloud9 ended up winning the coin toss and have elected to take the blue side. So we will reset the rift and bring you that tiebreaker after this. Stay with us. They used a penny this time. They did. They <laughs> just for you. I feel like it was a better coin toss this time. It was. Stop your constipation. <laughs> Wow, I hope we make my check with noises like that. Two-man Glacial Prison in the go. Dodo is the target, and he's the first kill. Dominate target uh, Piglet as well. He can flash the wall, and the man is safe. Watch out. Lucian, 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 Right. But the battle continues, especially while 12 health stays alive. Phoenix finds a bunch of cleanup. Porp is gonna get dropped down a triple. Two, 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 two. We're, on, we're on Corky, we're on Corky. Oh, we killed Corky, we, we killed Corky. Okay. There's two, there's two up, there's two up. Push mid, push, push mid. mid. They've got a hook in there as well. Fight begins. Slushy's the target. Oh, Porp's got it. Baron. Here comes Hecarim. Who's the target? It's Phoenix. The battle is over. Team Liquid will be the final team in the playoffs. Congratulations.